You're in a good mood. What are you not telling me? The concert was a hit. The Lodge is doing great. I think we should have a party to celebrate. Hello and welcome to the fan carpet. <laughs> um, would you start just by introducing yourselves and your characters, please? Yeah, I'm Josh and Claire Evans and I play Josh. Hey. That's good. Hey. Um, I'm Sophie Simnett and I play Sky. I'm Luke Newton and I play Ben. Welcome to the fan carpet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so let me just start. Season two is coming out on Friday. Um, for people who haven't seen season one, uh, what would you say sums it up? Because obviously you're you're stuck in a love triangle and it was left on a bit of a cliffhanger. Um, what can you say? How much can you say? Luke had a good summary, literally a quick little summary yeah, for it. Okay. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> Uh, put, him, put him on the line. Yeah. <laughs> so it follows... S it. Season one sort of follows the story of Sophie's character, Sky. Um, she meets loads of new characters. Uh, she talks to her friend, Josh, from the city over her phone. Um, but yeah, season two sort of kicks off exactly where uh, season one finished. Um, and it's kind of nice just to see the characters grow and, and their journeys following the mystery and Josh getting a bit more involved this year yeah. on, on, at the lodge and... Um, just seeing sort of Sky's life unfold. <laughs> but your character is actually involved in the in the love triangle. Is that correct? So Sky has to make a choice. He does, yeah. Um, so obviously, as, as Luke said, it, the season two starts, starts right away. So you find out pretty quickly who <laughs> Sky chooses. Um, it was really interesting um, seeing the reactions of the fans, you know, who was Team Ben, who was Team Sean, and, mm. and why, and they all had a lot of reasons. Yeah. It was like tally charts and everything going on. Um, but yeah, you do find out who she chooses, and actually it's, it's quite interesting to see how her choice affects her relationship with everyone, um, and the other characters' relationship with everyone, and whether her, um, Sean and Ben can stay as the sort of trio friendship that they have which is ultimately what makes them all you know like compatible mm. obviously not Ben and Sean but yeah. <laughs> um, um, so yeah it's really interesting to see how that unfolds. What were your biggest influences growing up did you have any favorite tv shows? Favorite tv shows the first one I thought of was I'm trying to think loved Sweet Life of Zack and Cody Cause I, firstly, because I love hotels, so the idea of just yeah. living in a hotel would literally be my dream. Especially this hotel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just not leaving, they don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, me either, me either. Um, I don't know if I had any idols per se, but um, I loved, like I didn't have Disney Channel when I was younger, so I missed out on all of that. But um, Did you watch High School Musical? Or yeah, anything? yeah, big old High School Musical fan right here. We were like not the, as big as Luke. Not as big as Luke, though. Um, <laughs> sort of the high school musical generation I remember when it came out and everyone had to get it for their birthday um, and I knew all the dances I did, it, I did it on stage I did a theatre really? performance of it yeah I was it's a cheerleader fun. Brianna my name was oh I could totally see that <laughs> In my heart. Um, yeah, it's kind of the same for me as Josh, really. Like, I love Zack and Cody. I, I kind of watched all the Disney Channel um, shows, which was really weird then. Now, get, going home and sort of the younger kids in my family still watching Disney Channel, but now it's we're huge. on the screen. <laughs> um, and even just when they're watching other shows and, you know, the adverts come on and it's us, like, saying, oh, five days to go, it's kind of really surreal still, even going into the second season. So, um, it's, yeah, it's really cool. So what is it like being part of the Disney family? It's something quite unique, isn't it? Yeah, it de it's definitely is. Um, it, being part of the family, the Disney family, is something amazing. You, I feel really safe and looked after. And, um, you know, it's such a big franchise. And um, to be part of it and, and know who else is part of it is, is amazing. And, you know, we can go into the offices and just go and say hi and uh, you know you're always welcome yeah. um, and, and the platform that, that is provided for us from the show is it, incredible like it's giving us such huge opportunities to do things like this you know interviews and um, go to Disneyland and <laughs> <laughs> get free passes <laughs> um, who is the practical joker on set we spoke to um, some of your colleagues earlier oh. and um, <laughs> I definitely think who I know is but um, let's see what you guys think I mean I hate it's saying it. it's, it's probably Luke. probably Luke though it is. Oh, here he goes. He like him. Luke really plans out his pranks. Like there's a lot of thought behind them, and I, I don't have the energy for that. <laughs> You're more of a spontaneous That's, guy. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> um, so tell us about one of your pranks, if you're allowed to. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, so one of my pranks, which um, I actually posted on my Twitter, so it got quite like a, a big reaction. Um, I went in. I just went into set one day and I started to get changed. And um, normally, if you come in in the morning, it's kind of like busy and everyone's sort of rushing about. And there's maybe five of us in in the guys' changing room. Um, but today it was just me on my own. It was a bit of a later call, so I was like feeling a bit yeah feeling <laughs> like <laughs> yeah so i just saw that josh was in after me and i saw his costume on the rail and it was a brand new costume that i knew he hadn't worn before so he wouldn't really know what he's going to be wearing that day um and i just went out to costume I was like is there any sort of wacky sort of clothes i can put on the rail instead and they found this like 80 styles jacket ski jacket yeah um but because of josh's character it kind of w was almost believable yeah so i, I put it on the rail and and took a video of me putting it on the rail and then um just waited and in and hoped that josh got to set and it was maybe a couple of hours later and i was really hoping that no one would no one would tell him um and eventually i i i found josh and got a little video and <laughs> he sort of tries to make a joke being like no i brought it from home and then he's like no it's on my rail and i'm like no i put it there mate <laughs> well, it was actually really warm though and it was a cold day so by the end i kind of enjoyed wearing it and i think i kept it on until i had to take it off you were just embracing the character didn't you walk around with um, a builder's jacket most of the time? Oh, it was yeah. like, that was on purpose, though. Because yeah. <laughs> they so they're so warm. And it, yeah. and it was bright orange, and everyone kept like swapping each other's jackets and losing theirs. And I'm like, yeah. if I have this massive orange jacket, no one's going to pretend it's theirs. But then everyone yeah. started wearing the but massive orange jackets. Yeah. 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 So you actually film in Belfast, so it's bit, the weather's been against you at times. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not the best day in London either. <laughs> Um, so how how is it filming in Belfast? Um, we actually film in Van the Hinch, which is just south of Belfast. So we're in the countryside, um, where uh, Montalto Estate, where we film, is. It's a big, you know, um, country estate. Um, we were quite lucky this year. We didn't get lots of rain, but it is very cold, and um, a lot of you know, it's it's a summery show. Um, so <laughs> sometimes yeah. I've skimpy outfits. Costumes <laughs> don't quite match the weather, yeah. um, but you know, it's it's great. And um, we do some scenes this season where we're on a mountain um, in the wind and rain, so that did accommodate well, um, and it, it did actually help us get into the scene a lot. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's kind of, we kind of have the extremes in Northern Ireland, so it's either yeah. really warm and sunny or it's really windy and rainy. So there will be days when we sort of get two layers of thermals on and then, oh, our, then our jeans and a, and a couple of T-shirts. End um, up looking like a sumo wrestler. Yeah, <laughs> but then get to set and, and an hour later it's really sunny and, and so clear cool. skies. <laughs> yeah, and so we're constantly getting changed. Especially, We did one of our, our, our final songs in the show and everyone put thermals on and then it it's really, really, cool scene i can't wait for everyone to see it but um we're kind of outside i can't say too much but we're all kind of having fun yeah. um at this event that we're doing um <laughs> and we all ended up having to take off all our thermals and constantly going back getting changed yeah. um, and then the rainstorm came up yeah, it was sunny exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's just i remember times we would travel from belfast where we're staying to all the way to ballon the hinch where we film and we'd go through like well, four seasons yeah. on the way it was like <laughs> snow when we leave and rain and then sunny and yeah. it's like that scene in notting hill yeah, yeah. Just like that. um you are all dancers, actors and singers. Um, I know particularly you, uh, Sophie, you um, didn't have a background in all three of those. Uh, was that particularly challenging and how did you um, yeah. get through that? I mean, um, so I hadn't danced or, or sung really at all. Definitely didn't, hadn't danced um, <laughs> before the show came out and um, I wasn't actually aware that I was dancing in the audition when I first went, so that was a surprise. Um, and yeah, that's the motto. Um, so yeah, but it was, it's actually been amazing because we've had this opportunity to learn and we've had incredible singing and um, coaches and choreographers. Um, and I, I think I can say I have learned mm. and I'm way more confident than I am, um, than I was before. Um, and learning to dance with these guys was amazing. Everyone's on sort of different levels, so we can always, you know, find a middle. Um, and it's a really cool thing to like pull out, <laughs> like when you're out, and you can just, yeah. Especially for you in season two, you kind of like, as well as the show, sort of upping it in terms of choreography and everything. You kind of 
took that challenge to take it on as well. Yeah. And like, I was like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to go all out. <laughs> yeah, <she is>. that's, <laughs> that's great. Um, there was a, a YouTube blogger, is it Beth Ledley, who was in season one? Yeah. Do you have any other YouTubers in season two that you can tell us about or any other interest or people you'd like to see? Oh, you, yeah, did so he? Yeah, we he have... Did. He was allowed. <laughs> we were allowed to see. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Jake Mitchell... Um, is is appearing in one of the episodes, The Lodge, which was really cool for us because mm. um, a lot of us don't really watch YouTube um, or like understand <laughs> YouTubers, and it was amazing for him to come um, and for him to try acting and um, for us to get mm. like, and like hear about what he does, uh, what he does, and what his job is because. Um, uh, was he a fan of the show then? And then I don't got involved that way. I don't know. I think he. Um, I think he wanted to try try out acting and yeah. try that as like a career path. Um, 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 he's got a really cool role. Where yeah, he sort of comes in and awards awards <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> Something to someone. Yeah. Yeah. Something happens to someone. You can't um, say anything. No, but, <laughs> no, but it, it was, was really cool to yeah. find out like what he does because I I sort of had no idea and we haven't we didn't really have time to you know watch TV or or go online or anything. It was kind of twelve hour days. We'd get home, <laughs> eat, bubble. and go to bed, and then get up and do the same thing. So it was kind of nice to see and and watch a little bit in the green room of what what he gets to do. Yeah, and he gets up to. such a cool job. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> You seem to have a pretty good job as well. Do you see yourselves going more into film and TV in the future, or would you consider musicals or possibly even a, a record career or a music career? I mean, I think the thing I've most always loved about acting is doing plays and stuff and being on a stage. Um, and because I've never, I mean, this is kind of the first time I've ever done anything on camera. It's still takes a lot to get used to and it's so different that at the moment you know I still kind of feel about going back to plays and doing all of that but I mean I think we're all so early in the career it'd be silly to like pick something and say that's what I'm going to do from now on I think we all just want to try everything yeah. to be honest yeah um, I, I'm quite keen to go into films um, but and you've already done films <laughs> yes yeah. actually you were in you were in the mums list yes um, so I did that um, just before I um, films at the Lodge season one, which was incredible, and like I always think about it, it was such an amazing experience. Um, not what would you say was the biggest thing, the biggest difference between shooting on um, TV and film? Um, I think it's much more relaxed on the film set. Um, I think because there's You're less shooting less in each day, yeah. um, and they can take the times with um, each scene. Whilst with us, it's really snappy. It's like really quick. Whilst with um, because it was an indie film, it was quite, quite slow paced and. Um, do you get more rehearsal on a TV series, especially something like this, though? A hundred percent. I mean, we didn't rehearse at all for the film. Um, with this, obviously, we've got the dancing, so we rehearsed for a long time. But with Mum's This, we, I think we filmed over five weeks, whilst this was 16. So the length of that, and my character was in and out. Um, so that was definitely different. But there's a lot more, <clears throat> I think, say, with, you know, the DOP, with lighting and... I really enjoy that, but as Josh said, like I'm just excited for the future. I'd love to try go back to theatre as well, um, other TV musicals, everything. You know, I mean, yeah. but uh, just yeah. being open to everything. Yeah, yeah I um, originally started in musical theatre, so I um, sort of I, I did a show in the West End, and I did I did various musicals before I auditioned for the Lodge. So it was kind of like the perfect job for me when it was. They were like, you get to do musical theatre, but on screen. And I'd always wanted to do sort of. I did a, little, a few. I did a series and a couple of roles um, on TV. So I kind of liked the the, the the both of them together. Um, but yeah, for me, I really want to you know go into music and and, and TV. And, and Scott was the same as everyone. Really. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you see the audition for this on Facebook? Yeah, I did actually. Yeah, I saw um, an open casting. Um, uh, and it was it was it didn't say Disney or anything. It just said Untitled Teen Musical, and I was kind of like, oh, this is like <laughs> mysterious. But so I messaged my agent and was like, what's what's this about? Um, can I get seen? And then you know went through the rounds. And one of the guys last year, Dom Harrison, who's a close friend of ours now, um, played Oz, and he actually went through the open casting audition. So it just goes to show that you you, you can just turn up to an open open audition and, and end up in the show. Yeah, that's incredible for people out there who don't have agents. <laughs> um, do you see yourselves as role models, um, for, <clears throat> especially for young people going through tough times and growing up? Just, uh, just growing up is a tough, tough job. <laughs> um, do, you, do you feel any pressure associated with that, or is it...? Um, not, not, mass not massively. Um, I, think, sure, yeah. I think... I um, think... 
what we re really love about this show is um, the, the characters alone, uh, aside from us as, as actors ourselves, the characters alone show teenagers showing, uh, making bad decisions and good decisions and the outcomes of that and how to get out of that. And we really like that about The Lodge, that um, it just goes to show if you, if, you make a bad, if you make the wrong decision or what seems to be the wrong decision, it's, it can always be solved. Yeah, um, so nothing's perfect. And, yeah. and it's, it's really real. Like That's, again, something I love about The Lodge. It's real. The stories are real. And these characters, you know, it is successful because these characters, uh, you can empathise with them mm -hmm. and you can understand. And that's what's also really exciting about this season is you find out so much more about each character individually and you sort of piece together what, you know, the relationships and the friendships. Um, but yeah, I think with this role, it has we definitely have become role models in, in a sense, which is like a big honour, I would say. Mm. Um, and with social media um, advancing, we get to talk to the fans loads and they can ask us questions and we can answer. Um, so yeah, it's a huge opportunity. George? <laughs> <laughs> Add something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think well, like the guys were saying, I'm just going to be repeating them, but what's so nice about the show is that it is such real characters, and I think what we've noticed on social media and stuff is that fans are connecting to the characters way more than they're connecting to us, which I kind of think is the right idea, yeah, that 100%. they should hopefully be able to get learn the lessons and see the troubles that these characters are going through and work with them kind of thing, rather than just looking at us kind of thing. Um, and everyone can relate to one one person in the show. Like every teenager I think can can relate to one character. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're all out of time I'm afraid. But it's been an absolute pleasure to meet you. We wish you all the success in the world with, with the Lodge season two and the rest of your careers. This is just the start for you I know. So watch the space everyone. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Sophie Simnet and I play Sky in Disney's The Lodge. Season 2 premieres on Friday on Disney Channel at 5.30. Make sure you check it out. You've been watching The Fan Carpet. Make sure you follow them on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't make me wait another minute. No, not another minute. I can't wait for them to be now. Yes, The Lodge will be back. I'm gonna show you. The Lodge Season 2 coming in 2017 to Disney Channel. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.